Okay, everybody, well, you've spent a lot of time solving mazes that I made, and now it's your turn to make a maze. And we're going to change it up just a little bit. We've got a familiar layout here, but we're going to do a Pac-Man theme. So your hero this time is going to be a Pac-Man. His target is going to be to get to the cherries, and he's still got one portal entrance and two portal exits. And two villains, Blinky and Inky, the famous villains from Pac-Man, if you're even old enough to know what that is. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going, I am going to go through the whole process of building the maze. But if you are going to skip that, and you just want to know what your end product needs to look like. Please pay close attention to a few very important things that are on this instruction list. The first is that you have to make sure you plan your maze so that the hero is required to use the portal in order to solve it. If he can bypass the portal, if you can code him so he just goes around the portal, you will not get full credit for the maze. Secondly, make it so that your hero has to dodge at least one villain, preferably two, but at least one villain to solve the maze. If he can just go around all the villains, Again, you won't get full credit. All right, with that said, I'm going to go through now the process of setting up the whole thing. Well, the, so, uh, periodically, I will speed it up so you don't have to sit through a lot of stuff. But let's go through these instructions one at a time. The first thing says remix. So I'm remixing and making a copy of this template in my own account. Then I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it Mr. Todd's Awesome Maze. Okay. And the first thing is we're going to relocate all these sprites to new locations, sort of spread them around on the maze. So I'm, you may change your mind as you do that. You can start out with something and then you come out with something that you like better. But I'm just going to go, uh, let's see, I put this one here. I'm going to have the starting for him to be here. And I'll have the cherry end be three, four, five, six, seven, and... So once you've done, you've got them in some sort of starting position, then first you design basically the solution to your maze. So what I mean by that is I'm going to just build the direct pathways first, and then I'll build all the sort of deceptive routes. So to build a pathway, you go to your stage like this and the backdrops, you choose the backdrop tab. I've got uh, your maze right here, and then you you're going to decide on a color that you want your pathway to be. Now, your, your pathway can be any color you want. The only one it can't be is black because black is the color of the walls. So pick any color or you can have a multiple colors if you want. You don't want to just use one color, but pick a color that you want to use. So I'm going to pick this. I don't know this. That's Let me see. Let's go with blue. OK, so this is going to be the color of my of my maze. So the first thing I'm going to do is design the solution. So like I said, he's got to go through the uh, the portal. So I'm going to first make a path directly to the portal. So you click on, you pick your color and you click on the bucket to fill in and then you click in the middle of the squares. That's kind of important. Don't ever make a mistake and click on the line because then you'll color the line and mess things up. So click in the middle of the squares. So I'm going to design the pathway first that will take him to the uh, portal entrance, the first portal entrance. So let's go like that. And that'll get him to the portal entrance. Then I know he's got to come out of A or B and get to the cherry. So I'm going to make a route from B to get to the cherry. And I'm going to make a route from A to get to the cherry. Well, no. Now, if you make a mistake and you don't, like, that, I don't want that last square. Well, if it's a recent mistake, you can just click undo. Okay. But if it's a mistake further on, you're going to have to recolor that square. So, for example, if I didn't want this square here to be blue, which I actually do, but just to demonstrate it. I don't want to undo everything I did. So I'm going to go to the fill. I'm going to choose this eyedropper. 
click on that, and then you'll see the cursor changes, and I can hover over the black, and it's going to change the color to, to the black. And then I can just choose the bucket and color it back to the black color. However, in this case, I really didn't want to do that, so I'm going to go back to the eyedropper, sample the blue, and put it back in. All right, so I'm going to continue this, building this down getting all the way. I'm going to have him have to dodge this villain. So get across here, three, and down, two, there. So now I can see I've got a pathway for him to get to the cherry from both of these doors. And I just got a finished pathway for this villain. There we go. So that he, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check that the directions that I have for my villains are correct. So what I do is I go to Blinky first, the red one. I go to his code and I see that he's currently coded to move in an upward direction. I want him to go left. So I'm going to switch his direction to left. And Inky, he is going uh, up, so I wanna switch this from left to up. There we go. And now I'm gonna test it out. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna have to build some safe zones here for my uh, my hero to hide from from Inky because he's going gonna be and otherwise gonna run into him. So I'm gonna build a couple of those, and I'll put one here, and one here, and one here. Okay, that should do it, and that is about all I need to do. So now all I want to do is solve my maze. So I'm going to do that in the background and I will come back to you after I have solved my maze. It took me about 15 minutes to figure out the pathway. It was kind of tedious, but it's done. And a few things I needed to change that I want to point out to you. One is I had to adjust my villain speed. So my villain, my inky speed had to be made to a two because otherwise he was just too fast no matter what I did. And I had to change my blinky speed. Actually, blinky should have been It'll be fine on three. So now that I've done that, I'm going to run the test twice. So let's just do it. Or actually, I want to run it until I've seen him come out of four. So now I see that it works out of B. And now let's hope it comes out of A this time. It'd be nice. It did. Okay, so that's great. There's only one, the, the, the maze is essentially done now, but there's one other requirement that I want to make sure everyone can see here, and that is that you're, you're, you shouldn't have, I shouldn't have this much black. The maze is too simple looking. Really, this is the, the, the basic maze, but now you want to build in some extra streets and things to make it look more like a maze. But just make sure that you still comply with the requirement that he has to go through the portal, that he can't dodge the portal or the villains. So you have to be very careful about placing these additional streets. So I'm going to do that now, just randomly putting some stuff around that will look like they go places, but they don't because it's a maze. And as I said, you want you want to have uh, less than half of it be black when you're done. So now this maze is ready to be turned in.